part of the active volcanic area that spans northern Nevada, Idaho, and Wyoming is the Yellowstone Plateau Volcanic Field, which includes the caldera. This Yellowstone caldera is what is causing geysers to erupt. Yellowstone's volcano last erupted 70,000 years ago. If it did so again, it could bury a vast area under lava. Most scientists consider this unlikely, at least for the next several thousand years. But another serious hazard lurks, one more sudden and treacherous than lava. To understand its destructive power, it helps to know what happened a decade ago at Japan's Mount Ontik. September 27, 2014 was a sunny day with a gentle wind. At 11.52 a.m., more than 100 hikers stood atop the mountain, snacking and taking photos. Then trouble struck, and it came with little warning. Windows in a nearby hut suddenly shook. They were rattled by a powerful shock wave, one too low-pitched for human ears to hear. Then a massive gray cloud billowed up from the mountain's southwestern slope. It swept over the summit, blinding people in squirreling dust. They couldn't see as a million tons of rock and dust, blasted from the mountain, rained down on them. 63 people died. Most were killed by falling debris. But this volcano's sudden explosion was not driven by lava or fire. It had been powered by water. A pool of underground water heated suddenly, likely by volcanic gases or magma rising up from below. The water boiled to steam almost instantly. As this happened, it expanded to hundreds of times its original volume. This shattered the mountain's slope, shooting rocks into the air. This kind of steam blast is called a phreatic, phreatic explosion. It's triggered by a sudden pulse of heat within an active volcano. But similar steam explosions, called hydrothermal explosions, also can erupt far from active volcanoes. Yellowstone is pockmarked with craters left by these explosions. There have likely been thousands over the past 14,000 years. These include one terrifying blast this past July 23. It tossed out rocks and sent tourists fleeing. 